In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to compute for uh, grades of a student uh, using C Sharp. So basically, what will happen is that it will be accepted, or the application will accept prelim, midterm, and end term grades, and um, will rate uh, will rate the student if he or she passes the subject. But first, I would like to thank everyone who have already subscribed to my channel. As long as you guys are willing to learn programming and technology related topics, I won't stop making videos, tutorials, and reviews. So please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and the bell notification button so that you will be notified every time a new content is uploaded. Now, going back, um, currently I'm using um, .NET uh, version 6, which is the latest .NET uh, framework and this is a uh, this is by the way um visual studio uh 2022 okay so i'm going to click help here to show you guys the current version that i'm using so about microsoft though uh, uh then um we have here microsoft visual studio community so i'm still using the community edition or community version with the 2022 then 64 bit so this is a 17 point zero zero Point 0.4 version okay now as you've noticed it's kind of uh different compared to the uh, java like um application format that we normally see in uh, c sharp so but let me just try to show you guys that it is still very much the same when it, when it comes to processing as well as uh, when it comes to coding now let's try to start our um, exercise or activity so uh, the very first thing that we need to do uh, by the way, these are all system generated. Okay, so let's try first to ask the user to input. Okay, we have here um, name, then uh, string f name is equals to uh, convert dot to string. Okay, then um console dot read line okay so the return value is unchanged so we don't need this one we don't need to convert it because it's still it's still very much the same so we have here console dot read line okay I read the next line of uh, characters from the standard input stream Okay, so next is, um, let's also try to ask for the ID number. So, console dot um, write line, then ID number. Okay. Then, say to copy. We have here ID number. Okay, this is say to copy this part. Now this is where actually the the actual grades two three four five we have here student grade one two three four five this is where the actual student grade will be asked by the application okay so we have here um prelim grade okay let's try to um this one as in integer format or maybe make it let's try to make it double double then we have here um pg okay then this time we need to convert so convert dot to double okay next is just going to copy okay may need to make it a little bit bigger have here mg okay this is going to be your midterm grade then last we have end term grade so I call this one as eg eg okay next uh so I to create another variable so to call it as final grade equals to um, prelim grade multiplied by 
So I have to assume that this is going to be 0.3. Plus point three again, then the uh, second microsoft is point four. So this is actually midterm grid. Um okay, so we already have created our formula. So I have to put this inside our parenthesis. Okay. Now um if um, f g or final grade is greater than seventy four um, console that right line okay name plus f name. Then we have here ID number ID number then final read Let's call this one as FG FG okay Okay, so we don't need to convert. Okay, then um, we have here status. Uh, past. Okay. Otherwise, Failed. There's also an, a shortcut method for this one, but I'm not going to show you guys since uh, what is important is for us to be comfortable in trying to code first and foremost in C sharp. Okay, so that's the whole application. Now let's try this time to compile. So it's first to build, click file, a uh, build, then if your build solution. Okay, so build uh, one succeeded, zero failed, zero. <laughs> Um, up to date so zero skip so it means that there's no error whatsoever on our application okay, although we have here a couple of warnings okay, let's just try to leave it as is um, let's try to run how does it work okay so it's time to run our application okay for f name so it also known as michael jordan ID number 111. Okay, so for program grade 95, 95, 95. Okay, so you have here uh, Michael Jordan and so on. I decided to arrange it a little bit. Instead of making, uh, if, instead of using right line, I decided to I just try to use right. Okay, so that it will be um, beside the label itself. Okay. Right, right, and right. Okay, let's try to compile, try to click build again, build solution. Okay, there's no error whatsoever. Then try to run. Okay, so we have here Michael Jordan 23. Okay, for student grade 95, 98, 96. Okay, so that's the final grade. 95.9 okay so that's how you would this is actually this is how you would um, compute for the final grade of the student so this is just a very simple c sharp uh exercise or activity that uh, i would normally give my uh, students or for those who wanted to learn um, c sharp